Happy Monday, everyone. I hope everybody had a great weekend. It's finally summertime. We're having great weather out here. Just want to say thank you so much to everybody that wished us happy anniversary and uh, happy birthday to me on uh, whenever that Friday. was. That Friday. was on Friday. Um, thank you so much, guys. I was just blown away by all the fantastic comments and funny pictures and it was just it was phenomenal thank you so much for all the love we really appreciate it um and thanks for all the great comments on last friday's uh video where vicky caught uh, caught the three of us gig with our giggle fest there uh that was pretty popular you guys seem to kind of enjoy seeing us um cracking up like that all right, so um, first things first, Wednesday's video is going to be, uh, Vicky's going to be in front of the camera doing a story, a success story, and then we'll do a large, uh, then I'll get in front of the camera, we'll do a large coffee, or, um, sign covers of the day. Uh, I'm just getting a huge stack, so i got to whittle them down, so I'm going to do a large sign covers of the day. And then Friday, we're going to be, uh, Eric and I, Eric's going to be starting to carve on this one that we did two Fridays ago, I guess. Um, so stay tuned for that. And I want to talk about this a little bit. That's the first question that I had is at the end of that video, two Fridays ago, uh, we used a, a, a straight edge and we drew pencil lines top and bottom on this. And um, I don't know if you can get in on that. If you look guys, we drew pencil lines top and bottom. Now somebody asked why we do that. Who was it that asked that? I saw that. Ah, I can't remember who it was. Um, so what we do is because sometimes these letters, if they get caked up with black or ink, or if for whatever reason they're off the line a little bit, off the baseline, when you're carving, uh, when you have, it's it's not honestly, it's not as near as critical with this fatty font as it would be if it was Clarendon letters or uh, not so much Western letters. But when you're carving around here, you can see how the pencil line shows where I need to be on that pencil line to make the, the bottoms and the tops, especially at the top, to make that straight across. And uh, that's what I'll try and train Eric to do, is when he's coming around to follow that pencil line at the top and the bottom of those letters to make sure that everything lines up so that when you hold that sign up and look down the tops and bottoms, everything is straight. Again, it's not near as critical on this fatty font as it would be for Clarendon, but when we started carving 40 something years ago, those Clarendon font is the ones that we always used. We didn't have this font. So on these bubble type letters, it's not near as critical. But anyway, that's the reason that we draw the top and uh, the lines top and bottom. So the second thing that I want to talk about is um, when you get a board that cups, hang on, I got to take a drink. This is water, by the way, it's kind of warm out here. So this sign didn't have a cup to it when we started uh, started doing the layout on it, but now it does. You can see it's got a cup. Now, fortunately, it's cupped the correct way, so that it so that our router base will follow the contour of that of that roundness, so it won't be an issue at all. But what would have happened if this thing would have cupped the other way? Let's say it cupped with a smile rather than a frown, so to speak. So then these two edges would be higher. So let's say it was like that. Well, that becomes uh, a little bit of an issue. And the reason I'm even bringing this up is because someone I talked to uh, yesterday had an issue that they carved the sign, they got it all carved, got it all sprayed, and then they realized that it was cupped. And it was cupped the wrong way, like this. So you can imagine if this was all carved, now this person isn't really um, uh, experienced with the sander yet, right? So let's say this happened to you and this thing is all carved and you're getting ready to sand it. Well, you know that even on a flat board, sometimes you gouge outset letters um, and uh, you're trying to figure out how you're gonna sand this thing without gouging it because it's got that dip in the middle. So here's what I told him. When you're sanding, act like this is two halves of a board. So this is your low spot. These are your high spots. So the way, and I've had, I've had to kind of learn how to do this myself. So the way I would sand this, if I was going to sand it, I would sand this half of the board first, 
literally, so I'm only sanding from the center down to here, this half of the board first with it close to me so I have the, the most control. Then once that's sanded, then I would flip it around and I would sand the other half exactly the same way. That way you never end up going, starting to go up this other contour and this edge won't catch on those outset letters. So he did it. And uh, then, uh, and actually here's the sign and he is actually the first sign carver of the day. But this works guys and he did it and it was, uh, it was on a piece of 10 by 24 and here's the sign he made. And I, the guy I'm talking about is actually my son, Ryan. And you saw him last Friday and his signs are just looking fantastic. So um, I know that I always take these sign carvers of the day in order and you guys know that, but uh, unfortunately, um, he's blood. <laughs> so I, I kind of moved him to the to the top of the stack. Yeah, it fits but I, in with your question, too. And it fits in. It, that's exactly right. It fits in with a question. So this is the board that he had. It's like, and it was cupped like this. And he, and he used my tip of sanding it half and half. So if you do that, so, you know, literally he sanded the bottom half and then swapped it around just like I just showed and then sand the top, sanded the top half and it, he said it was, uh, it was easy to do. It was, it didn't, it didn't have a tendency to catch on the edge of that sanding belt. And this, by the way, the first time that he's carved one inch outset letters and he's just, um, man, he's making some great signs. Congratulations, son. I'm uh, really happy and proud. You're doing some great signs. Um, so uh, that is that second sign carver of the day, Mike Bradley. This one's really neat. We don't call 911. And I like Mike, those letters. Huh? I like those letters. They're pretty cool, huh? And the way he faded in the, the red and yellow. Mike, by the way, and his wife own a, sa a gun safe company or a safe company. I think gun safes uh, as well. I might be wrong on that, but I know he's, hey, he sells safes, but I'm sure gun safes are probably in on that too. So this is probably for one of his safe customers. So um, that is that, sign covers of the day. So I kind of, um, that's the kind of tips on drawn letter, drawn lines. And then especially this, I don't think I've ever uh, actually, shared this tip about getting uh, sanding a sign that cupped because it wasn't when Ryan started the sign it wasn't cupped at all but he didn't get a chance to get it done and get a finish on it before it started cupping and it cupped the wrong way and this is how you solve that uh, that issue so you just sand half of it first and then flip it around and sand the other half all right that is that uh, hope that helps guys again uh, Wednesday will be a success story and a large sign carvers of the day. And then Friday, we're going to get little Eric in here and uh, start carving on this sign. Hopefully, we can get it all done uh, on this next video on Friday. If not, we'll carry it over. But um, he's excited to get in here and fire up the router. I think he wants to do these inset, if I remember right. But um, anyway, thanks again, guys. Thanks so much for all the shares, the likes, all the great comments. Um, Glad this was, I hope this was helpful for you. Uh, you know, last week I want to start doing more demos and doing some, uh, some special stuff. So uh, I've got some signs I got to carve. I'll be getting those on, uh, on video as well. So everybody, that is it for today. We will see you guys on Wednesday. Have a great Monday and uh, thanks again. Talk to you.